Good evening, everyone. This is your host, Infinite Child. And for the, before the night ends, I have to give us this word. Amen. And I hope your day has been uh, very good for you. And uh, I hope that you guys are seeking the word of God and just inviting the Lord in to surrender and give him your yes. Me and a coworker was talking earlier and, you know, he told me about, you know, the struggles that he had um, in his past. Glory be to God, you know, and he was uh, delivered from those things. And with the use of drugs and et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sorry, you guys are car screeching. But anyway, and so that, you know, how, you know, and just recognizing and realizing that, you know, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but, you know, it's spiritual. All these things are spiritual. You know, there's a, a war. There's a war. And, you know, very deep conversations that that we do have and just recognizing what's really going on and discerning all things right but not leaning on to our own understanding right but just knowing that god's word is true god's word is true and you know and just to surrender you know and by the grace of god and being that he loves us so much you know we are able to we just have to give him are yes and it's just amazing what god is doing it's just amazing and i've been i was actually having this conversation uh before i entered uh my home um i have this sticker on my car and it says equality right and i was asking god is it for me to keep that on my vehicle because being that you know i was delivered from uh, uh confusion and and I guess like me representing, well, not so much representing, but knowing that, you know, God's word is equality to every person, to any believer who choose to believe in him. It does not matter your race, uh, your culture, uh, any disability or um, uh, man, woman, uh, none of those things. Um, you know, it's equality in God's word and God is able to save anyone anyone right any person can surrender and believe god's word and believe in jesus christ right and so i you know i was having this conversation with god and i think i should keep it on my vehicle but i don't know i'm unsure so i'm just waiting for a response just waiting for a response you know expecting a response to me, I thought it was a good idea because, you know, being that once what I used to practice, right, uh, in, in that lifestyle, um, you know, just showing that God is good and God can save. God is our Savior, and, you know, he, he can turn you around. God can flip the script, right? So that was just a conversation that I, that I had with God, so... And I don't want to lean on to my own understanding or, you know, because sometimes we can answer our own questions. And that's not what I want to do. So just hearing from the Lord. But anyway, you guys, this word is for someone, for someone. And it is for me as well. And just to encourage us, right, to, to just encourage us to continue in God and to see God's face. And so we know that God is our hiding place, right? Uh, just like David, David went through intense suffering and, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of, um, persons in the Bible, right? Went through like, like Job, for example, you know, uh, intense suffering. And of course, you know, being a fugitive from Saul, King Saul in those days, you know, Saul was the, I guess, uh, the mighty man in that land. Uh, a ruler, a ruler, um, and uh, even Saul's son turned against him. And so, how many of us know can relate to that? Knowing that uh, persons that we knew or know, closeness or not, you know, um, you know, any relationship that you have with a person, you know, uh, can turn on you so quickly. How many of us have experienced that? And it happens. 
Therefore, when David praised God for being a refuge for people in danger, he was not talking in hypothetical or abstract terms. So a lot of things that we experience or that we go through, we walk in, you know, it, you know, we can always have these what ifs or, you know, hypothetical, you know, those type things. But, you know, we have to realize that life is real. Life is so real. Life is just real. And, you know, some of us live your own realities, right? Either by the word of God or just doing your own thing, you know, living your own life. And it. And a lot of things that I can say that a lot of things that if we, when we choose to do things, when we choose to do our own thing, you know, a lot of things are very abstract. You know, it's, de it's delusion, you know, it's an illusion, you know. So, you know, the enemy, you know, places this in your in, 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 in your face and, you know, sometimes you gravitate towards that. And, uh, you know, the, the enemy can make things look so real or so welcoming, you know, but that's not what it is you guys but above you know in in any circumstance we place our trust in God we place our trust in God and you know it's a matter of life and death right and God will never let us down he will never let you down in times of trial and or tribulation in tribulation there's times when we will you know uh uh have that but we already have victory Right. And so those things that we don't worry about because God fights our battles. So remember that God, God always watches over you and he will never forsake those who call upon him nor let them down. Amen. And so we have to trust that and trust God and always trust the process and just thanking God, you know, that we can find refuge, that he's a safe space. He's a safe place. He's our high tower. He's our shelter. And that we are hidden in Christ. And, you know, we always thank for that and, and knowing that he never turns away from those who come to him. Amen. And so that's very important to know that. And you guys, I want to leave you with Psalms chapter 9, verses 9 and 10. It says, the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name will trust in you for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. So... You know, sometimes when we seek other people to help us or to just be a listening ear or or even try to seek advice from when it, whenever it's warranted, right? Because persons will tell you anything or at least tell you anything that you think you want to hear, right? Or when we seek other people, you know, it's not. And when you have those conversations with people, it's not what you intended it's sometimes not what you expect or sometimes you can feel like okay i've told this person xyz and the person is not even listening the person's not even hearing me you know and it can be sometimes frustrating or you just feel like you know that was a waste of time right and it's like you quickly turn on a new conversation or you know or you just cut off the conversation because you're not feeling like the person is receptive but know that god right God, God always listens. He's always there for us. And, and in our day of trouble, he's there. He's there and he protects us. So what I'm saying is look to God. Don't, don't be so quick to look to other people. Don't be so quick to look to other people. Talk to God. Talk to God. He's there for you. And God will not, after have a conversation, speak to his angels about you or, or any other person. You know, it's God. You know, even some sacred things or, you know, um, things that could be embarrassing or things that, that's shameful or, you know, private things about yourself that you tell someone. You know, sometimes, more than likely, the person will definitely tell other people, you know. And I I can admit, I've done that before. I've done that before. 
I've done that before, you know, and I had to repent of that. And so now it's like I only tell persons what you, you cannot simply let's be plain about it. You can't tell everybody everything about you. Right. Sometimes we have to learn to keep our mouth shut because we can talk too much, too much. And that's not good. Right. And if you want to talk too much, talk to God. All right. Talk to God. That that will be my advice to me and to everyone else who's uh, listening to this content. Talk to God. If you want to talk too much, talk to God. OK, because you can trust God with everything. You can trust God and learn to be vulnerable with God. And again, I told you in the past that, you know, I'm learning to be more vulnerable with God, even though God knows me. He knows me inside out. I still have to be vulnerable with God because God is always listening and God is always answering my prayers, my petitions, um, giving unto me my desires, my needs, everything, everything. And so I am so dependent on God. He is my father and I am his child. And so it is what it is. That's my father. Glory be to God. And so same with you guys, okay? So be encouraged. Do not be worried in well-doing. And if you fall and, you know, uh, repent, repent. God's grace is sufficient. Repent, you know, and turn away from that. Amen? Turn away from it. And God will help you. God will help you. Because, again, he has an expected end for each and every one of us. He has a plan for each and every one of us. But do you believe? And do you trust the process? And do you trust him wholeheartedly? Glory be to God. So you guys, I hope this word encourages you. I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word meets you where you are. Oh my gosh, I am so famished. I'm not eating all day, but just ask Starbucks. I have to work on that. Well, okay, you guys, have a good night. Be safe. Be safe and practice cleanliness in your home and in your workspace. I am Infinite Child, and I will check in with you later. We will talk soon. Have a good night. Peace.